Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? What's up, gems? Welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump into this beauty hack one on one episode one. And today we are starting with our brows. So I am going to be taking the Ulta Beauty's brow pencil in the color brunette and I am going to basically fill in my brows and shape them up to the natural shape of my brows. Now, I do want to let you guys know that I do clean up my own brows myself I don't go to a shop I don't have anybody else to do them so if you would like to see that please let me know down in the comment section and I will get that video up for you right now basically I am just you know scratching my nose no I am filling in my brows with hair like strokes some people use hair like strokes some people don't All right, so you can see how I'm just aligning the bottom of that brow and just going in with swift motions to kind of shape the bottom part of that brow. And then I go back in to fill in the top with hair like motions. I am doing this because I am going to be going back in with another product that is going to completely fill in my brow and give them the dark shape. Okay, so remember that second product I told you about? This is it. This is the Crayon Case Pomade in Dark Brown, I believe. And I ended up getting the wrong shade. This is a little darker than what I wanted, which is why I ended up using the color Brunette and the Brow Pencil. That way, I won't be just moving dark pomade on top of dark pencil and looking like somebody put a Nike sign on my damn forehead. Okay, so I'm just taking the spoolie on the end of the actual brow pencil and brushing in that product to make it look smooth so it won't look cakey. Um, yes, I know my brows are not sisters. They are not neighbors. They're not cousins. They are strangers to each other, but that's just a natural shape. I get that. Whatever. All right, so the next step is concealer, cleaning up the brows. This is the Crayon Case Highlighter in the color 19. I also have the color 18, I believe, but I can't find that. And yes, I ended up using the same color as my skin. Now, for the look that I was going for, this wouldn't have worked. But if you were doing like a natural glam, you know, real low simple you know not bright or anything like that then using this concealer would have been perfect if you didn't want to use um highlight or not highlighter eyeshadow at all then this is the color that you would want to use or your foundation would work perfectly as well just because you don't want a really really bright base on your eye and you're not going to do an eyeshadow look Alright y'all, so I am going in with a buffer brush, which I found out later that this was not a buffer brush. But I'm just going in and I am just buffing out the concealer in which there was concealer everywhere. This was not the right brush that I needed to use, but I made that work. I had so much concealer everywhere that I had to transfer it to the other eye. 
but yeah so I'm just buffing that out giving me a smooth smooth canvas So remember when I said that I was buffing that out? Girl, no. Now I am going in with the buffer brush and buffing it out because that other brush wasn't doing anything but just still spreading the concealer everywhere. And as you can see, if I were going for a no makeup look, you can barely tell that there is concealer there. All right, y'all, so like I said, I used the wrong color concealer, so I'm going in with my P. Louise base in the color Rumor Zero, which is the white base. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Um, But you'll see that it is turning like a tannish brown, and that is because of the crayon case concealer that I put on <laughs> Oh, excuse me that I put on before then and of course I went right back in with that same brush that didn't really do much last time See, I picked up the brush anyway. Why I didn't pick up that brush first? I had to go back in and redo the step all over again just to give me a smooth canvas. At this point, you are ready for whatever eyeshadow palette you want to use, honey. Okay, so I used my Lick and Lash Beauty 35F palette. As you can see, went right back in with that non-buffing brush, getting rid of that harsh crease line from the concealer. But I do not set my concealer with powder because it's hard to blend a powder with a powder when you're blending your eyeshadow. Alright guys, so I don't go into complete depth with this tutorial like I said this was only the beginning for the brows but the next few minutes you're basically just gonna see me go into my crease and how I build up the intensity with my colors if you would like to see any more videos please comment down in the comment section make sure that if you have not subscribed go ahead and do that now like i said this is just the beginning of the beauty hacks 101 and there are more videos to come 
make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I post a new Beauty Hack 101 video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad to have you here. I am so glad to have so many beginners here, especially those who want to perfect their craft or those who just want to get into makeup. I understand and this beginner is here to help you. Like I said, please like, comment, and share this video. Let's go ahead and get these likes up so that we can push some more Beauty Hack 101. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, gems.